Well, toll roads are expensive enough. Imagine getting bills for somebody else's tolls. Oh boy, it happened to one mid-state woman and she needed help getting that issue resolved. So, of course, she called our Seth Kaplan, who was live with the details. Seth. <laughs> Valerie and Alicia, a woman who, if you are a Penn State fan or alum anyway, you might have considered really lucky. I knew it was the only one in the state. Suzanne Snyder of Carlisle. But I go by Sue. With the license plate a lot of other people wish they could get. No extra letters or numbers. And I just had the opportunity to get PSU, and I said, yeah, I'll take it. And I guess for a lot of years, it was a good thing. But yeah, it was. This is Sue's car. You can see this is a Chevy Equinox, not a Toyota sedan. Which is what appears to have used toll lanes in Maryland, which did not stop Maryland from sending Sue the bill for unpaid tolls at the Fort McHenry Tunnel and I-95 Express lanes in Baltimore County. Sue says she and her car have never been either place. The Toyota's plate says PSU, but there's nothing to stop Penn State grads and fans in other states from getting PSU vanity tags. With the biggest alumni association in America, I would almost think there'd be one in every state. <laughs> sure enough, this has happened before. Delaware. And I did get a couple from New Jersey. Actually, New Jersey was the best ones I've ever dealt with. <laughs> she called, pointed out the car in the picture wasn't hers, and they took care of it. Same in Pennsylvania with an out-of-state car, but Maryland? Two dollars and I think 19 cents was the bill. And so I called and they said, well, we can't do anything. You have to send us a copy of your vehicle registration. She did. No relief. Called again. Now you can send it by email. So I sent the email and I put the attachment. I even put a picture of the back of my car with my license plate on it. And I got confirmation the next day that they received it and would be handled in five to seven business days. Not so, unless you consider this ticket for the Toyota driver's unpaid toll handling it. They could revoke my vehicle registration and they gave me a thing where I could apply for a court date in Maryland to fight it. And I thought, no. Called us instead, kind of wishes she could afford to take them to court. I just wanted to quit. A PFA against the DOT. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it, well, I don't know, it might work, I don't know. <laughs> She's joking about that, not about this. I've seen you on TV, I thought, well, I, I'll just call. I really didn't think anybody would take, take me up on this, but I'm feeling if I'm, it's happening to me, it's happening to other people, and I don't think it should be. In other words, people with desirable vanity plates that someone in lots of states would want with states sending bills, to the wrong place. I assured her we will solve this as soon as I hear back from Maryland. First thing I'm going to do is call Sue. Second thing I'll do, Valerie and Alicia, is tell you and our friends at home what happened. You are great, Seth. <laughs> Thank you Thanks, so Seth. much. Who could forget Sue Snyder, the nice mid-state woman we met earlier this week who keeps getting bills from toll booths she never passed through. Our Seth Kaplan sure didn't forget her, and he joins us now with an update. Hey, Seth. Hey, Alicia. Yeah, you might remember it all started because of something a lot of Penn State alums and fans would do anything to get. A PSU vanity license plate. No extra letters or numbers, just PSU. There is only one in the state, and it belongs to Sue Snyder of Carlisle. She snagged it right when the required five years had passed since the last person who had it, well, let's face it, probably passed. But there are Nittany Lion fans and alums all over America with the only PSU plates in their states. And Sue sometimes gets bills for their unpaid tolls, usually a quick fix. Not so with Maryland, which billed her, then ticketed her, threatened to get her registration revoked, even though she had sent them all the proof they asked for. She was fed up and called us. We called Maryland's Department of Transportation. The next morning at 826, <laughs> I get an email from them telling me that it has been resolved. They will put a watch on that tag so I will no longer get a bill from Maryland. And they apologize for any inconvenience. Thank you. Thank you, ABC. It wouldn't have got solved if it wouldn't have been for you, Seth. I appreciate it so much. You do so much for a lot of people. So kind of her to say that, but she's giving me way too much credit. Valerie, as you know, I wouldn't be able to do that if we didn't work for a TV station that supports what we do. Indeed. Thank you, Seth. Good job.